What man is he that liveth and shall not see death? Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? You see, it's not until Jesus makes us immortal on that last day will we be able to get out of the blunt fact that there is a grave for each of us that see death before he returns on that day. For those of you that have lost loved ones, this truth is a blessed comfort. You no longer have to worry about your beloved deceased as wandering in an unknown landscape looking for loved ones, or being scared that they are all alone in the, in the vast emptiness, or worse yet, floating in the flames of purgatory as the pagans once believed, and Rome later adopted into Catholicism. The scriptures declare that they are sleeping soundly, totally unaware of what's going on around them. They don't realize they're dead. They're simply sleeping. Have you ever noticed this? Now, yes, it's true that some have bypassed the grave and some have even resurrected 2,000 years ago with Christ. The amazing thing about these people are is that every one of them that has ascended into heaven have complete bodies. We know four of them by name, of course, Enoch, Elijah, Moses, and Jesus. All have bodies. Jesus even made this point quite clear when he stated to the disciples after his death the following truths. In Luke 24, verse 36 to 39 it says and as they thus spake Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and saith unto them peace be unto you but they were terrified and affrighted and supposed that they had seen a spirit and he said unto them why are ye troubled and why do thoughts arise in your hearts behold my hands and my feet that it is myself handle me and see for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as ye see me have have we all forgotten what Christ said about our bodies in heaven and how they'll be fashioned? In Philippians 3, verses 20 and 21, it says, For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. Seeing how this is biblical fact, would you like further confirmation? Ask all those elected officials that have exhumed dead bodies over the years due to criminal investigations. 100% of the time, each and every single time they dug up a grave, they found a body in that casket. Now, I know there are still some questions for those of you that have been taught certain things regarding this topic. I have a list on the website on the Where Do We Go From Here page in the Bible Truths section at remnantofgod.org. However, I would like to share one of them right off because it's my favorite method to prove this point. It has to do with the King David. As we all know, out of the family tree of David, we have Christ the Lord. David was a sinner, yes, but he repented and was considered a heaven-bound man. In fact, all the Jews in the days after the cross of Christ believed David was in heaven. Peter, the apostle, was forced to address this issue quite boldly in Acts chapter 2. Now, before going further, try this. The next time you're sharing this biblical fact with a Christian confused on this issue, ask them, Do you believe King David is in heaven right now? Most will say yes. Then share with them what Peter told those gathered before him on that day of Pentecost. Acts chapter 2. Verses 29 and 34 says, Men and brethren, let me speak freely unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulchral is with us unto this day. For David is not ascended into the heavens. Keep in mind, this verse is penned after the death and resurrection and ascension of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Many preach that everyone that was in the graves are in heaven after the resurrection of Christ because they think he brought them all out of Gehenna, or hell, or grave, when he was dead. Yet this verse proves that they are indeed in error. It seems even the early believers thought David was already in heaven. But Peter made it plain that the passage that they were questioning, which was in fact Psalm 1610, in regards to the Lord, not allowing his soul to stay in hell or his body to rot, the passage was indeed speaking of Jesus ascending to heaven, not David. For it is also explained in that same chapter of the book of Acts, in verses 30 to 32, Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him, that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, 
he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. He, seeing this before, spake of the resurrection of Christ, and his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. This Jesus hath God raised up, wherefore we all are witnesses. If you would like to view more information on this topic, please visit www.remnantofgod.org forward slash immortal.htm.